What's goody? Welcome back to another fire Naruto to Barto Shinobi Striker video. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you boys how to make your very own thumbnails inside of the Photo P app. Yes, sir. So if you're on PC or if you have a PC and you want to make your own thumbnails, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that in this video. So if you could for me, drop a like on this video if it helps you out in any type of way. Don't forget to subscribe, man, because I do want to teach more stuff like this. And uh, let's just get right into this. This is kind of a long video already. Let's go. Alrighty, alrighty, what's goody? As I said, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make thumbnails inside of Photo P. So, first things first, obviously, you wanna go to photop.com. This is where you're gonna wanna go and edit, right? So, go to photop.com, easy peasy. The next thing you wanna do is go to new project right here. Now, if you want a YouTube thumbnail, you're with and your height you have to match these numbers so your width has to be 1280 and your height has to be 720 and i just use this right here so you could just click this thumbnail 1280 720 right here bam and then hit create and this will be the thumbnail size layout uh you're gonna click this thing over here on your right bar click that those triangles these little tri triangles right here so you can get your layers and this is what we're going to be messing with. We're going to be doing with this. You zoom out a little bit. Perfect. This is our canvas. All right. So let's get right into like editing where we get our things from, everything like that. So what I like to do is go to something like this and look up for, I say, a PNG or something smooth like that. Okay. So we could go here, here, and then look up like naruto red chakra png you see what i'm saying and then you're going to want to take one of these pngs whatever image you want to use and edit with and mess with and play with we could just take this little naruto here we can drop him in there like that yep make sure he's above the background and there you have it you have the naruto inside you could place him here like that you could clean you know you can Put them here like that. You can smaller it, shorten it, put it here like this, whatever, something like that. You know what I'm saying? You could you could do some stuff like this. But I do have an idea. I just wanted to let y'all know that you can drag and drop from anywhere you want. You can drag and drop from anywhere you want. You can even drag and drop from your own PC, any files you want to drop in. So... I do have a thumbnail I was planning on putting together, but I figured I could just show you guys while I put this one together. So this one is going to be, uh, 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 where are you? Where are you? There you are. Okay, Shikamaru. All righty, there he is. We got a very clean Shikamaru picture right here. It's the one we're going to be using. I like that. I like that. We're going to try to get it a little centered. Try to get him in there. Something like that. You know, that's a pretty solid Shikamaru right there. That's pretty solid. Probably make it a little bigger. I ain't going to lie. Bring him down a little bit. That's the middle. That's the middle. That's the middle. Perfect. Perfect. I like this layout. Then the next step is you're going to want to go here duplicate the layer right and take this the top layer this is your top layer go to your blending options then you want to go down to your drop shadow to your outer glow to your inner shadow and your inner glow these are the all the four things i like to play around with now you can see we got some little thing going on here but i'm pretty sure y'all want that effect the glow effects and all of that stuff to it right all right, so we take our drop shadow, bring it all the way up. 200, spread, different, zero, distance, zero, angle, 
90. This is just how I do my thing. You feel me? So hopefully y'all can get this. And then for the color, I like black on Shikamaru for his shadows. You see what I'm saying? All right. So next, we're just going to want to your outer glow. This is going to be your real glow color right here. So we want that we want that hidden leaf green. You feel me? Oh my god. We want that hidden leaf green right there, baby. We'll take that. Uh that's a little that's a little dookie green. Let's get let's get a little brighter. There we go. We want some bright green on the field. You know what I'm saying? Bring the spread up. Or the size up, sorry, not the spread. I usually bring this up. Let me see about 150 here. We could just type that in. About 150. You can see that there. Now we go to our inner glow. We want this to be a little bit lighter than that green. A little bit lighter than the green that we was just messing with. And as you can see, you see that? You see that? Now y'all can see. I'm going to move this out the way. Now y'all can see we got a nice glow that goes over and it outlines them. You see? Yeah, you want that. You want that. You want to do something like 25 because that's solid. 25 is pretty solid. I like that 25. And then we go to our inner shadows. The distance has to be zero so that it doesn't push down on one side or the other. Now you see how we could darken that shadow up or that color? You see that? Yeah, but we're going to go in here and we want a dark green. Dark green. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? And as we bring it up, as we bring it up, Boom. Boom. Here, we'll pull it back just a little bit. And that looks pretty solid for the Shikamaru. I'm just saying, you know. Now, next thing I like to do is background. Now, we got to get a picture of background, right? So, we're going to go run back to our internet. And then, this is what I like to look up. B-O-S-Q-U-E-D-E. -E, Naruto Shippuden. Okay, this thing gives you, like, some of the cleanest backgrounds, all right? This is where I find the cleanest backgrounds. So, there y'all go. Um, I will try to, like, put a link or something in the description for this information, for Photo P, all of that, just to help y'all out. You know what I'm saying? But look up this B-O-S-Q-U-E Day Naruto Shippuden, and you'll find some fire images. So, we're going to be using... This image right here, Shikamaru's um, deer. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, man. Look at that, man. We got the deer in the background. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that we got the background, we got to click. If this thing down here at the bottom gets out of our way, you go down here and you're going to click this right here. New layer. Ooh, you see that layer? You see that layer? All right, now you see this thing right here. This is color square on the left side of your screen. Click that color square. Then you're going to look at Shikamaru and say, what rides with Shikamaru? What color is going to, to stick this green so nicely? What is going to do this green? A really, really dark green. No. Nah, no, nah, we don't want to. We don't want to overlay him with green. Let's let's check gray. Let's check gray. Then I go to your brush tool right here, right? Your brush tool. This is your brush tool. Click the brush tool up here in the left corner. You're gonna want to click the size, make it as big as possible, and then just brush stroke over that. Over that. Remember, you're on this layer. Don't click off this layer. Then you click your color square, and then you make it big, and then you just slide across the screen, up across the back of the screen, and then you're going to want to go back to your move clicker so that you don't delete any of that. Go to your layer, go to your blending options, and then uh, overlay. Or if overlay doesn't work and it just puts the picture back, you could try multiply, or you can try darken. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? All right, so you see the picture changes just a little bit in the background. You see that? That's perfect. That's perfect. I say you can get an inner shadow, inner glow, and you see that? You see that? 
Now you see at the edge of the picture, we got Shikamaru glowing. We got it glowing all around him, all the way around. Okay, so but the inner glow, inner shadow actually, can be brought down a little. It's the inner glow, it's the inner glow. There we go. Now we can bring it up a little. Bring it up a little. I, I kind of like that. I kind of like the way that that's going right there. You see what I'm saying? There y'all go. Cleaned up the edges. Cleaned up the back. Cleaned up all of that. And now for the finishing touch, you could, huh, let me see. You could go back to the Naruto page and you can get some Shikamaru, you know, face you can get some shikamaru symbol you can get the nara clan symbol you could go through mess around if you feel like the the thumbnail is too plain like this you can find something to add you can you can put something else in there this is just like the last little piece that will really make your thumbnail special maybe pop out i like to just sometimes you know hit them with that one what easy you know, it's easy, man. Sometimes you just throw the Shinobi Striker up there and then, you know, everybody can tell, you know, buyout, something like that, you know. You know, you also can go through, find a bunch of effects, you know. People know how to do effects. So I try to do like... Shadow effects, P and G. You see what I'm saying? So we could grab some shadows that might just course up the side of Shikamaru. We kind of want like maybe, maybe. You see this shadow ghost guy here? <laughs> I know Shikamaru doesn't have that, but like, remember, this is your thumbnail. You can mix it up however you want. You could put this in there. You know, don't. Don't short yourself when it comes to the effects. And like I said, I'm not too crazy on that part. I do try to do something every now and then, you know, something a little unique to the picture. But uh, here, let's look up. Okay, well, Shikamaru, I didn't space it. Shikamaru shadows, right? You know what I'm saying? This video is getting a little long, so I'm going to finish this off. But you know what? Here, this is going to be my live stream. Live, PNG. We'll take this. We'll just find a live symbol for you boys. Y'all know what it is. And we're just going to be going live with this thumbnail today. So I hope y'all enjoy this. I hope y'all enjoy the, the tutorial on how to make bio. Bayal. Bayal. How to make thumbnails. We're going to put that behind Shikamaru. <laughs> no, we're not. We're going we're gonna to take the Shinobi Striker. Put it right here in the middle. Sorry about that. Make it a little bit bigger. Put that right there. We'll put that behind Shikamaru. We'll take the Shikamaru live thing and put that in front like that. There we go. I feel pretty solid about this live stream thumbnail. I hope you guys come and join the live stream. Appreciate y'all. Y'all see this thumbnail out there in the field. You know what to do. And last but not least, I'm going to teach you boys the best way to save it. Hit file. Hit export as. And then export it as a JPG. So that uh, YouTube will make your thumbnail. It will be the proper size and it won't be too big. So it won't, you know, it'll be able to fit there every single time. Don't do PNG. Don't do WEBP. Do JPG. I love y'all. It's been a right Kage. I hope y'all make some fire thumbnails, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate y'all. Hit save, man. Don't forget to save it. Don't forget to save it. All right. All right. We out.